Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Vel and we're back with another video. In this one, we're gonna be going over how I took my channel from zero subscribers to 100K in about eight days. That being said, I do want to give you all some practical tips that will help you in 2024 because a lot of people got this outdated information, the, the same old, just stay consistent, keep uploading, you'll learn, you'll get better. And to an extent, that's all true. All of the, the you know general information and stuff that you get, it's true. But there are secrets and tips to help you boost your growth and, and speed it up a lot quicker. And that's what I've used to grow many channels. The channel you're looking at right now, I grew in a couple of weeks, a week or two. Like I grew this in a week or two from zero to a, about 100,000 100, subscribers. And I've also taken three different channels in one month's time. I was posting on those three channels every single day. And about three weeks in, I got all three of them from zero to a thousand and monetized. So I've done lots of tests and experiments on, on this, and I've, I've even made channels monetized and given them to friends and things like that. So that's just something that I do. So I'm always, you know, well-educated on how to grow on YouTube very, very quickly. And I realize that a lot of people are actually struggling in that area. Now, I do have my course down below in the description. That's where you'll be able to really get full breakdowns and all the information. But this one, I'm just gonna point you in the right direction and let you all know what you should be doing. So that being said, let's just jump straight into it. Um, as you can see, this video, oh, you can't really see the view count. This video right here has about 4 million views. Let's see. Um, this one has 4 million views. As you can see from this one video, this is a 30 second video. This one video got 13,000 subscribers. So 13.2 thousand subscribers with one video, that was a 31 second, that was a 31 second short. So, I mean, that that's how quickly your life can change. That's how quickly you can, you can boost up a channel very very quickly i mean and, and i was using shorts for this method i've grown from all types of content all types of content on youtube grows your channel you just have to post good quality content when it comes down to the content here's a here's the second video here this one video got twenty thousand subscribers it has 3.4 million views and it got twenty thousand subscribers with just this one video so those two videos by themselves got me over 30k um and this was only 26 um this is only 26 seconds so yeah this was another video that was that only lasted like 20 seconds and so what was that, that that's less than a minute like a minute of a video and i got 30,000 subscribers from that so basically i just wanted to show you that to, to just to prove the point that it's very easy to grow on youtube what you have to have is the right information so what happens and what tends to happen and why content creators don't grow is that you all tend to focus on the wrong things and you don't find your niche, your niche, where you actually fit in, where you actually bring value. Content creation is all about value. Where do you bring value? The reason that I grow when it comes down to this particular game is because I know the game very, very well. I, I know the game very, very well. I played the game a lot. This has been my main game for years. So that's why I, I, people listen to me because when I say things, I'm saying things that they can relate to and they understand and I'm speaking their language. While when I talk, like when I'm in a Discord call and I'm playing the game with one of my friends and, and he don't he don't play that game, he's like, bro, what do y'all be talking about? What What is this nonsense? And that, like, he literally can't understand. It's like a whole different language, but that's how it's supposed to be. Because when you are good at something, you're supposed to be speaking to the people who are also, who, who will understand the messages that you're trying to, you know, get out. So you can't just jump on YouTube and jump from one niche to another niche to another niche to another niche. You have to jump on YouTube and think, where do I bring value? Where can I jump on YouTube and I can offer something that no one else can offer, or at least no one else can offer in the way that I'm offering it. Like when I decided to do this content, to do this type of video, where can I offer value? This is a lot of people on YouTube talking about how to grow on YouTube. How can I bring value? I'm sure not many people have grown on YouTube going from zero to 100,000 subscribers multiple times in multiple different ways. I've used a live stream only. like. Like literally a couple of years back, there was like a, a YouTube kind of glitch or cheat code. Like every every so often there's a glitch on YouTube that allows you to do something insane. So it was 24 hour live streams. You just keep you keep the streams going for, for as long as possible. I did that and got a channel from zero to 100,000 subscribers one time. And then when shorts came out, I'm like, okay, let me test this out. I, I did it again with using shorts. Then I wanted to do it using videos and, and I wanted to break into three different categories at the same time. So I went for black entertainment. I went for finance. What else did I go for? 
I went for. I think I forgot what I forgot what the last one was actually, but I went for I went for three different niches, and I um I got them all monetized in just in the same thirty days. I didn't do thirty days, then thirty days, then thirty days per channel. In thirty in a thirty day span, I monetized all three of those channels from zero subscribers. So what I do when I jump into a community and I have been able to succeed in multiple different communities is I understand what 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 they find valuable. And then I offer that value to them. So let's say you don't want to use one of your own passions. You don't want to, like for instance, I love anime, but I don't really make anime content because I feel like I've seen my friend. My friend makes anime content and he, he says it, when people criticize his, his, his videos and don't like them and stuff like that, it kind of ruins the anime experience for him. So he doesn't want to like, he doesn't want to turn his passion into business. And I get that, I 100% I, I get that. So if you want to just jump into a specific niche that you think you can do well in, you have to learn where where the value is. You need to learn where your value is. Because if you have like a, if you have like a passive kind of style where it's like you don't sound too, too confident, that's cool for certain areas. Like, like for instance, ASMR. I'm pretty sure that would work great for ASMR. That's just the first example I came up with. It'll, you could probably get by in other areas, but the point is you probably shouldn't be a motivational speaker on YouTube if you don't have a powerful voice. If you don't have a, you know, if, if your voice don't, if you're not assertive, if your voice isn't demanding attention with the things that you say, you probably won't make it as a motivational speaker. So trying to jump into that lane, you're, you're gonna get into that lane, you're gonna get in there, guys, you can do it, just, just, just be great. And, and then nobody's gonna watch you and you're gonna think you're trash at YouTube when the whole time you just jumped into the wrong lane. It, does, it didn't make sense. And, and often a lot of content creators do that. So it's very important to find your niche and find your lane and then focus on actually going into what's, what's meant for you. Once you find the missing piece, what, what, where's the value? Where, where's the value at? What's, what's, what's valuable to this community? And you start putting that out Obviously, I'm not, I'm not, in this video isn't about basic things. You need to have the right titles. You need to have the right thumbnails. The video has to be good. But what makes a good video is the value that you provide in it. It's not the editing, not any of that, unless editing and super highly edited videos is the value that that community is looking for. Like a Mr. Beast video, if he was just walking around, no edits, just handing out money to people and stuff, it would be boring. It would be very, very boring if Mr. Beast did what he did with no editing. So it probably wouldn't be as successful as it is right now. So it's certain things you have to take into consideration and understand as well. So that being said, um, I don't want to I don't want to get too too deep into it. Let me know what other things you all want me to cover. If you have specific tips that you all want me to speak on more or uh, elaborate on, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I just wanted to kind of give you all a, a, a strong introduction into what can really help you grow because it really is value. Value is that key thing. The only way you're gonna pop up on a new channel getting millions of views like this is if the things that you're saying on this type of channel is valuable. I it, This was a kind of a cheat code for me because I knew the community already going into this. So I knew the value that I, I could bring to the community just off, off rip. I knew the value that I could bring. So I jumped in brought that value and it blew up and it blew up my channel. So that being said, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Um, let me know what you all think. Write down in the comment section something else that you all want me to cover so that I can help you all with and help you all improve and stuff like that. Also, my courses, my courses and coaching is down there in the comment section below. So yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.